The symptoms of COVID are just like influenza. You might start with a runny nose, a cough, a sore throat, a fever, and then get on to faster breathing and shortness of breath, and maybe even pain when you breathe if you've got pneumonia. But most people are gonna just have the symptoms of a cold, a runny nose and a cough, and maybe a mild fever. When COVID-19 takes hold of the body, it's a respiratory condition to begin with, the upper respiratory tract, runny nose, cough, etc. Then it goes into the lower respiratory tract and it can cause fluid to accumulate and people to get really quite ill. It can spread through the body and through the bloodstream. It can cause nausea, vomiting and diarrhea in some people, but mostly it affects the respiratory tract. The first five days you have COVID-19, it seems to get gradually worse. For most people, they then recover over the next five days, so it's like a cold. For people who get it severely, maybe five, maybe 10% of people, after the first five days, it can progress to fast breathing, high fever, feeling really quite unwell, and you know you need to see your GP or go to the emergency department. So it tends to be in the second week of the illness that some people deteriorate and get very unwell. The people most at risk are the elderly, especially over 75, but anyone over 65 is also at a lesser risk, but an important risk. People with chronic medical conditions of the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, diabetes, cancer, they are at increased risk and they need to be especially well looked after in terms of infection control. The great majority of people who get COVID-19 will recover. They'll get it mildly and they'll get better in one to two weeks. The flu vaccine protects against influenza. It has no effect on COVID-19, but because it prevents influenza, you don't have the risk of developing the serious symptoms of that, which include pneumonia. There's no need for panic. There's absolutely no need to stockpile toilet paper. Most people have five or 10 rolls at home anyway. And if you are put into self-quarantine at home, it's not gonna last more than two weeks. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.